Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be unboxing the Nova Pink DualSense controller for the PlayStation 5. I originally wasn't going to buy this one, but since I'm a completionist, I already had 5 out of the 6 colors for the DualSense and I was like, you know what, I need to go to GameStop and get that Nova Pink one just to complete that collection. Plus I've seen some other unboxings and it actually looks pretty cool. My mom's also a huge fan of the color pink, so whenever she plays some games with me and my brothers then she can definitely use this one. Plus I think I'm I'm really gonna like this one and probably use it quite a bit. To be honest, I think this controller is going to be one of the only pink things that I own besides a Nike golf shirt. I just don't really own a lot of pink things. And quickly before we open up the box here, if you guys do want to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the description. The controller itself goes for 95 Canadian dollars and you can get one day shipping from Amazon. So if you see what you like in this video, you can order it today and get it tomorrow. But that's enough talk, let's go ahead and unbox it. Alright, so here is the box. Pretty standard stuff. We've got the PlayStation logo, the little blue ribbon on the top, Sony logo in the top right. Here's the side, so compatible with PlayStation 5. Here's the back, so heighten your senses. It's got haptic feedback, which I've said in all of my other controller unboxings that it is phenomenal on the DualSense. Adaptive triggers, built-in microphone, and signature comfort, which I gotta say, this is the best gaming controller I've ever used. It is super comfortable in your hands. The haptic feedback everything about it is awesome. There's the other side so it's just letting you know what's inside of the box. Unfortunately you don't get a USB-C cable which I'm still like baffled that that's just not a thing. You would think for almost like a hundred Canadian dollars you would at least get a USB-C cable but I guess not. That's pretty much it for the box though guys. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right so here's the Pizza Hut pizza box. Let's open it up here. And there we go, there is the controller, all wrapped up of course, and then we also get the instruction manual, which I'll show you guys how to connect it to your PlayStation 5, just in case you don't already know. So that's going right in the recycling bin, let's go ahead and take a look at the Nova Pink controller. Oh yeah, that looks really, really good. That is definitely like a hot pink. That looks a lot better than I was expecting. This is like a really nice hot pink PlayStation 5 controller. I really like the way that the black accents it with the bottom part of the controller controller being darker and I just love the feeling of a brand new controller it's got that new smell it is just ready to go and play some multiverses which if you guys haven't been playing that game you should definitely check it out but yeah overall I really like the paint job on the Nova Pink we'll do a quick overview of what's on the controller if you guys are new to this so we've got the create button here we've got the options button up here we've got the touchpad in the middle we've got the speaker holes right here PlayStation button and the microphone mute button then all of the buttons are the same across all of the PlayStation controllers but on this one on the hot pink the icons are a lighter pink so we've got the hot pink as the shell of the controller and then a lighter pink for the icons which I think looks pretty good then we've got the thumbsticks of course now I know a lot of you have been commenting on the other PS5 controller unboxings asking if the drift issue is fixed on these new controllers unfortunately it isn't so it's still susceptible to getting drift but personally that's why I like to have multiple controllers because I kind of just cycle between them like I'll use one controller a week or change it up every day something like that just to minimize my chances of getting drift because if you have one controller and you use it every single day then chances of getting that and then having to buy a new controller are pretty high but hopefully I never experience drift because like I said I cycle through my controllers pretty much every day but anyways back to the actual controller itself let's flip it around so right here you can see that texture along the back side of the shell that's actually the PlayStation icon so you can kind of see the texture going on on the camera right now it's a little bit hard because the lighting isn't the greatest right here but essentially what it is is it's these buttons these icons all over the back of the controller it makes it a little bit more grippy not anything crazy though but it's just such a cool design detail that Sony put into these DualSense controllers that I absolutely love they actually did it on the console too and on the charging dock definitely something they didn't need to do but I really really appreciate that they did then we've got the standard left and right triggers of course with the USB-C port right here that's going to allow for fast charging of course since it is USB-C but you have to go ahead and buy yourself a USB-C cable if you don't already own one which kind of sucks especially because like I said earlier in the video these controllers in Canada go for about a hundred dollars Sony could at least toss in a cable into these controller boxes but who knows maybe with the next wave of controllers they will but I highly doubt it but yeah overall I think the Nova pink looks really really good it's probably around my fifth favorite color out of all the PlayStation 5 dual 
DualSense controllers that have been released so far. I will be making a video comparing all of them and giving you my personal ranking probably later this week or next week, so stay tuned for that video. And I definitely think that Sony is going to be releasing a second wave of colors pretty soon. I'm guessing there's going to be a green, maybe a yellow, most likely an orange, and who knows, maybe they'll do some camo or some type of different prints on them, which I think would look really, really cool. But as of right now, I have finally completed the DualSense controller collection for the first six colors. And to be honest, I think all of the finishes look really, really good. But yeah, that is the Nova Pink. All right, so now we're just going to connect it to the PlayStation 5. So you just need a USB-C cable. If you guys don't already own one, I'll put a link in the description to Amazon if you need to pick one up for yourself. They're not too expensive and I would say they're pretty durable. So if you need one, links down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug one end into the PlayStation 5 and then the other one into the DualSense. And here we go. Hit the PlayStation button, you'll see it light up. And there we go, we just need a software update for the controller, so we'll hit download now. They're normally pretty quick, like I would say it's gonna take maybe 10 seconds or so. And I gotta say, the hot pink looks pretty cool with the lights on there. I think right now it's the blue light, which looks pretty good. And there we go, update is done. That probably took like 13 seconds, so it was very, very quick. I'll go ahead and sign into my account, and there we go. Now I can play some multiverses, and that's pretty much it for the setup. It is super, super simple. Now that the unboxing and setup is complete, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So guys, that was the Nova Pink controller unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys do want to pick one up for yourself, there is a link down below in the description along with a USB-C cable. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the finish on the Nova Pink. I was expecting it to be a little bit brighter, but it's more of a hot pink, which I like a little bit better than a traditional pink. I am excited to put all six current DualSense controllers side by side and give you my ranking in a future video because they just all look really good. And I honestly can't just put a list together in my head of my favorite to least favorite. I'm going to have to sit down and just really think about that. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. Damn, I just love the feeling of a new controller. I can't wait to just break this thing in. So yeah, that's it for the video guys and quickly I just want to take a moment to apologize for the lack of uploads over the last maybe four or five months. I've been really busy and trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with my life for the rest of 2022 and 2023, like whether I want to go back to school or not and moving and a whole bunch of different stuff. But obviously YouTube and social media is a huge part of what I want to do. So there's going to be a lot more videos coming your way. There's going to be a better content strategy and schedule. So stay tuned for a ton of stuff. But for now that is the end of this video please subscribe if you are new and other than that i hope you guys just all have a great day today and i will see you guys in the next video